That is such an amazing question. <laughs> There is a guarantee that you're going to have a wonderful night. Hey besties and welcome back to West End Best Friend and today we're talking to two absolute legends of the West End stage soon to be taking part in Alpha's The Best of the West End concert in Milton Keynes. We're talking to Ben Forster and Louise Dearman. Hi guys, how's it going? Hello! Yeah. It's <laughs> great to talk to you. How are you doing? How are you? Do How's it going? Very yeah, really good. good. We've been uh, dead busy. We're so excited. We've been planning this concert and, um, you know, it's going really well. We're just so excited now that we can start telling people about it and, and letting people know that we're going to be on. Yeah. We're coming. Yeah, definitely. Coming to Milton Keynes and it's not just uh, the both of you as well. Can you tell us who else you're performing mm -hmm. with on stage? We've got Lucy Jones and Matt Henry and I believe we've got lots of dancers and our orchestra. Dancers, orchestras are we've got an orchestra. It is going to be the most amazing and brilliant show in Milton Keynes Theatre and we're just so excited to come back. And Louise, I believe for you it's like coming home. It is. So I grew up in um, a little town called Leighton Buzzard, which isn't far from Milton Keynes. So that was, you know, that was the place I went shopping and cinema, etc. But also when it first opened the theatre, I was in between jobs as an actor and yeah. I ushered and worked the bar at Milton Keynes Theatre. Oh, wow. For it's about, amazing. I think about sort of eight months, maybe. I haven't been there for years. Yeah. And I think that apparently there are still some people still working there that worked there when I was there in my 20s. So, so I'm cute. buzzing. So it'll be lovely for me because I'm so, so super excited about the concert itself, but also to just be near home feels really special. And that's the other amazing thing about this uh, this kind of event is that you're bringing the best of the West End outside of the West End as well for mm. people in more local theatres to experience kind of top, top class performance. Uh, it's great to be making things more accessible, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And I think it's really important. You know, it's definitely something that Alpha find really important. And, you know, doing a show at the Royal Albert Hall, we were the first show that opened up um, the Royal Albert Hall after COVID. And I think yeah. one of the first live shows after COVID. And that was such a terrible thing for the community and for live entertainment and theatre. And it felt like such a massive celebration. But then to be able to bring that to, you know, a, a, a town outside of London where there's all them theatre fans and everyone that loves theatre, but to bring it onto the doorstep for all them people so they don't have to go into London, they don't have to get the train, they don't have to spend all that money and then buy a London price ticket, you know, yeah. it's, it, it's really important to make it accessible for us to be able to just go, right, we're going to have a good time, we're going to sing our most favourite songs. We're going to have a good time with each other. You know, me and Louise haven't performed with each other so, for so long. Um, yeah. I think actually, the last time was at the Royal Albert Hall, but a different. Yes. But I just love Louise's voice. I'm a huge, massive fan. I think she's got one of the best voices in the world. Um, oh, so stop. You, you, no, you have. I mean, Louise is in the top 10 female vocalists of all time for me. 100%. Oh. You are, bold you know, the words, voices words. unparalleled. And, you know, just for me to stand on stage with some, like with Louise, you know, as well as Lucy and Matt, who I just admire just so much. It's a gift for us, isn't it, Louise? Oh, it is. And it's, you know, doing these concerts with people who you so respect as humans and as artists, it just, it's thrilling because you're not only enjoying performing, but you're enjoying the moments you're sat watching these people rehearse and watching these people perform. And there's a real gorgeous energy. Yeah. And That's it's one a... of my favourite things about doing Oh, I love it. Stuff. See, like... we don't get to see each other that often, so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a catch up. So you're yeah. you're you're equally loving those brilliant moments on stage, but also sat sitting backstage and, and chatting through life. Yeah, yeah, no. Lovely. I love this. It's like um, we're gonna get. You can tell people are gonna get a great atmosphere that night because mm. not only are you all insanely talented, but you can clearly tell you're all huge fans of each other, and it's gonna be yeah. such a wonderful, supportive atmosphere, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, look, we're all musical theatre fans. If you want to go into musical yeah. theatre, actually, you started off listening to the tips or the CDs, or you started listening to the music. You went to the theatre for the first time when you were seven or ten, and you love it. And we. I was obsessed by musical theatre my whole life. You know, it, then I was lucky enough that it became my job. And, and I'm sure it's the same for everyone else that performs on stage. But of course, like I literally sit in a rehearsal and listen to Louise and I'm like, I'm living my best life. Because Aww. 
like that. You know, who gets right, to do that, yeah. around a around a piano where we just hear the most amazing singers sing the most amazing songs, and you know, it's our life. And we also were obsessed with it for a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, lovely. it's just this this lifelong commitment to just loving what we do, and that never sort of ends. I don't think any of us take it for granted getting these brilliant opportunities to perform in front of these audiences. Mm. Um, I think you have to love this industry to be in it because it yeah. can be so, so hard. It can be so brilliant and beautiful, but also so, so tough. So you have to, you know, really love it and, and you know, commit your life to it, actually. It sounds really dramatic, but it's no, you can. You know, I mean, very it can true. Be, it can be really brutal. You know, there's been massive highlights that I think have made my life. But also, you know, that comes with equally really hard days and really hard auditions and really hard no's. It's a balancing skill. And as hard as it is, it gets as high. You know? Yeah. Do you know what? Do you know why I love concerts so much as well? Because I, you know, I do a hell of a lot of concert work these days. But there are so many songs that you get to sing that maybe you didn't get that part. Yeah. And yet you get to stand there and live it just for those few minutes. And that's why I love concert work, because the different styles musically and like character wise as well, that you get to play on stage in concert work, I, I find really exciting and really thrilling. And now thinking about what each of you have done, if you were going to choose a song to sing that the other is known for, which would you choose and why? That is such an amazing question. <laughs> There we go. Who wants Something to go first? Who wants changed. to take that one? Oh, Something God, I'd love to hear you sing that. Oh, I'd love to just get it in my proper key and just Oh, you belt do it. Do it. Well, okay. Shall I just take it off you and... Shall we just shall I just do that best in the West End? We'll take it off you and Lucy. <laughs> do it. The Wicked fans will be thrilled. Thrilled. <laughs> you like, step really? aside, girls. Move oh, over. I, the heart. I could be oh. great. It would be amazing. Full costume. <laughs> Full costume. Oh, listen, I would say... Gethsemane. Iconic, yeah. <laughs> Iconic, and Ben singing it, oh my goodness. Ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> there's, no, the there's nothing way. else to really say. I, re I remember yeah. hearing hearing it live as well, like, it, incredible. Flawless, Both... yeah. just flawless. There's just no effort. I don't know what's going on inside you at the time, oh, no. Ben, but there's no Tell effort. Tell me, babes, just... there's effort. This takes <laughs> effort. I get to the end of that song and I'm like, I've aged. Oh, it doesn't seem like it, I tell you. Yeah. Over, over, those, over those five minutes. <laughs> I do, I feel like I age every time I come off stage. I'm just too old. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so speaking <clears throat> of, of kind of uh, these iconic songs, could you possibly tease any of the set list that you've got coming up uh, for this concert in Milton Keynes? I mean, look, the only thing I can tease you with is that you're going to get what you want. You're going to yeah. get the iconic songs. There are some really lovely treats and lovely surprises in there that I don't want to spoil. I want people to, mm. you know, feel the tingles and feel the moments when they happen. But you're definitely going to get a bit of the Phantom, a bit of Alphabet, a bit of Galinda. You're going to get a bit of Kinky Boots. You know, there's all these, th all them bits are going to be there. And yeah, I think the great thing is there's, there are certain songs that are kind of expected that the audience wants. and every time you're on stage you want to sort of satisfy your audience what love it but the best feeling ever is when an audience doesn't know what you're singing and the introduction starts yeah. and you hear that like buzz and the whispers like especially with things like wicked you hear that duh, 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 and it's like everyone knows and it's, instantly it's brilliant it's a brilliant atmosphere and so it's nice sometimes to not know what's coming there's nothing much more to yeah. say except it's the production value is always fantastic with alpha and so people are just not going to be disappointed and you know the fact that we're up there singing those songs that we are known for and that we can share with you and then some extra sprinkling of some surprises there is a guarantee that you're going to have a wonderful night having the four of us up there and the dancers and the orchestra that you're going to have a wonderful time yeah exactly well there you go besties make sure you're booking those tickets at the west end best friend website www.westendbestfriend.co.uk forward slash tickets there'll be a link somewhere in the screen here so make sure you book those tickets and that's that's all we've, we've got uh we've got to say thank you so much louise and ben it's been great to chat to you and we'll see you Pleasure. at the concert we'll Yay. see you there thanks for having us thank you